All right, back again with another carnivorous plants in the wild video. I know I said I was going to go to that green Saracenia site in a few weeks, but I decided to go today because I figured, you know, if the ones further up north are looking decent, then the ones, you know, further down south should look good as well. So, will we find those green Saracenias and will they be looking presentable enough to make a video about them? Well, let's find out. All right, so as you can see, we've arrived to this area, more towards the larches. Uh, and once again, it's a bit drier because we have all these grasses and trees growing there. We can get the buildup of the sphagnum moss. Uh, so let me flip the camera around and we're about to see these purpureas. All right, so we get to this place where, you know, this, uh, I think, plastic material bridge turns in to this more uh, characteristic bridge. I prefer this more, uh, although uh, it's a lot less stable and we can see it sloshing around and even sinking a little bit uh, once we start walking down this whole thing. Jeez. Uh, and of course, I left my rain boots in the car instead of putting them on my feet. Uh, but, you know, I guess it's, you know, dry enough. Uh, so, to, yeah, once we start looking around, you can see all of this sphagnum moss growing among the grasses. And like I mentioned in the last video, once you start seeing sphagnum moss, it is a good sign that the carnivorous plants are close by. All right, so let's keep going on. All right, so we've come to the first location, and look, they even have a nice sign for us. Although it's a little bit submerged in the water and obscured by grasses, so uh, we should probably put that a little bit higher up here. Uh, but anyways, there's the first Saracenia purpurea, and there's one right here, so let me go even closer to this one. And as you can see, that one and this one, they're both very bright green. And I mean, we have some red coloration uh, on a few of the pictures, but that's probably, you know, they eventually turn red after a few seasons. You know, they don't lose their pictures completely. They hold them for maybe four to five years before they turn brown and start dying off. Uh, so eventually a little color is expected, but overall you can see it's very bright green. And originally, I thought that might be due to the sunlight. Um, you know, stronger direct sunlight would turn a plant more red. But as you can see, in this location, they do get full sun. And there's not many trees obscuring them. So I think this is just uh, genetically a more green Saracenia purpurea. Which is interesting because, as the name implies, Saracenia purpurea is typically a purple color and there are some uh, darker ones around here but I wanted to showcase these first because uh, I just think these are the more interesting ones and uh, haven't seen any other ones like this either through pictures or in cultivation so I just wanted to showcase these off today specifically. So pretty much this small location right by the bridge is all we get. We have uh, that one here that one directly behind them we have those two saracenia we keep walking further down this uh, bridge and there's one hiding there as you can see it's got those characteristic long green leaves of this location and pretty much nothing emptiness over through here and then our final three or four clumps of them growing back there can try and zoom in again and there might be some further back in that area although I'm not about to walk through all of this and possibly sink down and especially since I don't have my rain boots on um, so that's about it I guess the one last interesting thing as we get into a clearing here is this bridge uh, as you can see it's very stable not about to sink down at all um, so yeah, that's about it for today. Okay, so like I said, that's about it for this video. That concludes our green Saracenia trip. There wasn't that much out here, uh, especially no sundews. And I've been here before, and even in the summertime, there really hasn't been any sundews. It's pretty much just that green Saracenia purpurea site. 
Uh, so I think we're gonna call this the last carnivorous plants video for the month of May. And we're gonna wait until maybe mid June until some of the sundews start growing and we'll visit some of the sites further down south and take videos of those once they start growing and they're observable. All right, so thank you for watching this video again. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'll be coming out with those new wild carnivorous plant videos sometime in the next uh, month or so. All right, see you later.